Hello everybody, I'm Sarah and this is POP17. Whoa, what an amazing week last week. I have to say thank you to all you guys for all your awesome feedback and comments. Last week's launch was already going great, and then on Wednesday, after posting about YouTube's live streaming plans, Liz Gaines from New TV picked up the story and it spread like wildfire. I got really lucky because usually a headline like this doesn't carry credits with the reporter and their name and website so predominantly. Unless you're a blogger, because bloggers like to give credit. One article I came across as a result had an interview with the CEO of Justin TV, Michael Seibel. Michael was quoted as saying, Justin TV is the biggest live video startup with the most traffic, the most registered users, and the best community, but it wasn't easy getting to the top spot. So I was like, hmm, how does Justin TV quantify being the biggest? And what makes you the best? Does he mean this kind of best? Or this kind of best? Or this best? Is this the best pizza in New York City? Uh-huh. A subjective opinion, perhaps? What about traffic? Does that mean streams, hits, time spent on site? I think you know where I'm getting at with this. After meeting up with Professor Jamie Wilkinson last week and learning about how he measures internet fame, I figured I'd implement the idea into a simple matrix and assign values to several aspects of the various streaming platforms. I won't bore all of you with the details of my findings, but if you're interested to learn more about the platforms and their future sets, check out my blog post at pop17.com slash blog. It's a work in progress. Interestingly enough, the post I found on Michael Seibel's quote was in a rag called Ballywag. Ballywag is a gossip blog by Nick Denton's Gawker Media, which takes the traditional Hollywood approach of writing stories about the personal and private lives of Hollywood celebrities, but in this case, focusing on the personal lives of Silicon Valley celebrities. The website was initially considered spirited and fun by many, but has seen a major decline in visitors in recent times. Today, like many days, Ballywag itself is in the news for being controversial, and in my opinion, the most recent story isn't even worth mentioning. As you can see behind me, the sun is up and we're ready to carry on, but I wanted to make one more important point about what to expect from Pop17. If you are interested in knowing what color people's eyes are and what they like to eat for breakfast, you're not going to find that kind of information on Pop17. I'm interested in people for what they have done. I don't care what you look like or how you did your nails, and if that's how someone got famous, I'm not that interested in that person. I'd rather talk to Robert Scoble in Austin this weekend about his new video network he launched today. I'm going to meet Kevin Rose next week and ask him about Dignation, not about office drama. And next time I see Jimmy Wells, I'll be asking him about Wikia. The greater demand of the fans of these people, and my more favorite topic too, is about the world views of the innovative business they do. 